Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be evaluating an algebraic expression. We're given that z squared plus 4z plus 5 is equal to 0, and we're supposed to evaluate z squared minus 20 over z. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this problem. I'll be presenting at least three methods, and let's start with the first one. So for my first method, I'm going to go ahead and solve this equation for z. First of all, subtract 5 and then add 4 to both sides. That gives you a perfect square on the left hand side, which is z plus 2 quantity squared. And on the right hand side, you can write the negative 1 as i squared. Taking the square roots, you're going to get two solutions. z plus 2 can be written as plus minus i. And then z from here is going to be negative 2 plus minus i. Make sense? Now, suppose we go with z equals negative 2 plus i. Then I'm supposed to evaluate z squared minus 20 over z, right? So it's going to be like this. z squared minus 20 over z is going to be negative 2 plus i quantity squared minus 20 divided by negative 2 plus i. Notice that the double negative is going to turn this in, into a positive quantity. So it's going to be like, let's square this first. You can also think of it as 2 minus i squared. It's a little easier to do. 4 minus 4i plus i squared, which is negative 1. And this becomes 20 over 2 minus i. Multiply by the conjugates, 2 plus i, 2 plus i. And then this is going to give you 4 plus 1, which is 5. 5 goes into 24 times. And then from here, you're going to get the following. 3 minus 4i plus 8 plus 4i, because you distributed 4 here, right? And then the 4i mathematically cancels out, and you end up with 11. And that will be the answer or the value of the algebraic expression, right? So based on the z values, we got this. What would happen if we used negative 2 minus i? You can definitely check it out left as an exercise for you guys, okay? So that is the first method. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. So for my second method, obviously, I'd like to do something different. Let's go ahead and isolate z squared. And that's going to be z squared equals negative 4z minus 5. And from here, we're going to do the following. Since we have z squared minus 20 over z, we're going to replace this z with that. Make sense? So it's going to be negative 4z minus 5 minus 20 over z. Everything is negative. If you wanted to take out a negative, you could. No big deal. But this will become negative 4z squared minus 5z minus 20 all over z. And now we can do this one more time. Replace the z squared with what? Negative 4z minus 5 and then minus 5z minus 20 divided by z. And that will become 16z plus 20 minus 5z minus 20 all over z. 20 cancels out. We end up with 11z over z. z cancels out, leaving us with the answer, which is 11 one more time, right? This is the end of the second method. Are you ready for the third one? Because the third method is awesome. All right, let's see how this goes. For the third method, remember we have z squared plus 4z plus 5 equals 0. This time, I'm going to go ahead and isolate the 5, right? So why? Because I do need that 5 for the 20. I have a 20, remember, in the equation? So I isolated the 5 on the left, and now I have z squared minus 20 over z. Now remember, 20 is 4 times 5. So I can basically write 20 as negative 4z squared minus 16z. Make sense? That's what I'm going to replace it with. So now this is going to be z squared minus negative 4z squared minus 16z all over z. But the double negative again is going to make everything positive, And we can go ahead and actually factor out a 4z. And that gives us z plus 4 divided by z. And the z cancels out. Great. We end up with z squared plus 4z plus 16. Wait a minute. Aren't we supposed to get a numerical answer? Yes. But we can actually do that if you just consider the fact that z squared plus 4z plus 5 is equal to 0. What does that mean? It means that you can kind of break it down into z squared plus 4z plus 5 plus 11. 
and since this is 0 the answer would be 11 because 0 plus 11 is equal to 11 well you knew that right okay awesome so the answer is 11 for the third time but remember at the beginning I said I'll be presenting at least three methods well wait a minute is there a fourth way to do it maybe let's find out so my fourth attempt so how can we come up with a fourth way to do this here's the thing I have z squared plus 4z plus 5 equals 0 and I'm supposed to evaluate z squared minus 20 over z by the way by evaluate I mean that we're supposed to get a numerical value because you can always get this in terms of z that's not the goal it's not fun at all right I want to get something numerical like a constant maybe something like k from here right make sense so my goal is to find k okay let's focus on that make a common denominator and boom use the power of polynomials pop power of polynomials how do you do that cross multiply and that becomes zk and now we got an equation z cubed minus kz minus 20 equals 0 what do you think is going to happen for my z values that comes from the quadratic this needs to be satisfied which means the quadratic divides the cubic isn't that fun in other words this must be divisible divisible by z squared plus 4z plus 5. so you can go ahead and do the following even though it's going to take a long time to do you can go ahead and use long division right who doesn't like long division i guess nobody so you can go ahead and do it and this is going to give you z plus something we don't care about that because what we're interested in is the value of k and that means you're going to have a zero remainder because if the quadratic divides the cubic there should be no remainders right okay but you don't have to do a long division you can also look at it as follows which is actually more fun working with polynomials is actually so much fun i'm thinking about maybe coming up with some notes for polynomials because i actually started doing it but anyways that's a different story so we can kind of write it this way a quadratic times a linear basically is going to give us by the way that wasn't yeah that was a 20 never mind so our goal is to find k again not a but it doesn't hurt to find a well, actually we do know a a is 5 times what equals negative 20 the answer is negative 4 so a must be negative 4 right see we got a which means we got everything so if you go ahead and distribute these you're going to get the answer let's go ahead and distribute z cubed minus 4z squared plus 4z squared that's nice minus 16z plus 5z minus 20 is supposed to equal z cubed minus kz minus 20 take a look at this take a good look 4z squared cancels out this becomes z cubed minus 11z minus 20 and yes k equals 11 again for the fourth time and this brings us to the end of this video thank you for watching i'm enjoyed it please let me know don't forget to comment like and subscribe i'll see you next time with another video until then be safe take care and bye bye